Hey everyone! In today's very comprehensive kidney health video, I'm going to provide an in-depth look at the 7 main warning signs that your kidneys may be damaged or toxic. Kidney disease is extremely common, yet most people lack awareness of the early symptoms and root causes. My goal is to explain kidney function and the cascade of events leading to kidney failure in a simple, straightforward way. I'll focus on the most crucial information you need to know to protect your kidney health. First, what is the kidney's primary role? The kidneys act as complex filtering units for the bloodstream. They remove toxins, balance electrolytes, and reabsorb vital nutrients like glucose, amino acids and water. This prevents wasting these essential compounds that our bodies require. When the kidney's filtering capacity declines, waste products and excess fluids start building up in the blood. This causes the various symptoms associated with kidney disease. Early warning signs of kidney damage include metallic or ammonia taste when urea and other toxins back up into saliva. This can create an unpleasant taste in the mouth. Itchy skin as the kidneys fail to efficiently remove waste products. Toxins remaining in the bloodstream can cause irritation and itchiness. Ammonia breath results when deteriorating kidneys allow urea levels to rise. Exhaled breath may take on an ammonia odor. As kidney disease advances, more pronounced symptoms emerge. Fluid retention shows up as lower leg and ankle swelling called edema. Poor kidney filtration lets fluid accumulate. Puffiness under eyes and eye bags also stems from retained fluid due to kidney dysfunction. Gravity pulls this excess fluid into the under eye region. Uremic frost refers to a buildup of uric acid crystals on the skin, often looking like a fine white powder on the temples or scalp. Failing kidneys can't filter out uric acid. High blood pressure frequently accompanies kidney disease since damaged kidneys have a hard time regulating fluid volumes and vascular resistance. Toxins also increase blood pressure. Fatigue and exhaustion occur as urea waste accumulates in the blood rather than being filtered out by the kidneys. Urea causes lethargy when in excess. Protein detected in urine is abnormal and signals the nephrons are leaking. Healthy kidneys should retain protein in blood, but dysfunction allows escape into urine. Highly acidic urine results from the kidney's inability to properly regulate pH balance. Waste accumulation creates excessive acidity. Vitamin D deficiency often accompanies kidney disease because kidneys activate vitamin D into its usable form. Poor kidney function impairs deactivation. In summary, if you notice any combination of these seven symptoms, seek prompt medical advice to evaluate your kidney health before permanent damage sets in. Catching problems early is crucial when treating kidney disease. Diabetes is far and away the number one cause of kidney failure and kidney disease. Chronically high blood glucose severely damages the kidneys through multiple mechanisms. First, excess sugar stiffens and narrows the blood vessels that supply the kidneys. This impairs blood flow to them, and narrowed vessels increase systemic blood pressure further straining the kidneys. Second, abnormally high glucose directly inflames and scars the millions of delicate nephron structures that filter blood within the kidneys. This process called glomerulosclerosis eventually destroys nephrons, reducing kidney function. And large amounts of glucose spilled into the urine forces the kidneys into overdrive trying to recover it. This places extreme strain on the nephrons and surrounding kidney tissue. Kidney damage then allows more glucose to leak into the urine, which causes even more tubular injury in a vicious cycle ending in end-stage renal failure. Beyond diabetes, other contributors to chronic kidney disease include Sustained high blood pressure itself which places enormous pressure on the kidney vasculature. Polycystic kidney disease where fluid-filled cysts enlarge the kidneys over time leading to failure. Glomerulonephritis refers to inflammation of the kidney's nephrons from autoimmune issues. Usage of certain medications long-term like NSAIDs and antibiotics that are directly toxic to the kidneys. Now let's discuss key nutritional strategies to support and regenerate kidney health. First, consume plenty of hydrating, detoxifying leafy greens. Celery, spinach, kale, parsley, cucumber and arugula are excellent choices. Their antioxidants, mineral content and high water volume aid kidney cleansing. In particular, celery juice helps reduce edema and under eye puffiness caused by kidney-related fluid retention. Its mineral salts may also help dissolve painful kidney stones. Eat moderate, Adequate protein focusing on cleaner sources like grass-fed meat, free-range poultry and wild-caught seafood. Consuming too little protein stresses kidneys, while excess overworks them. Increase potassium intake via fruits like bananas and vegetables. 
boost vitamin D if deficient through sensible sun exposure, foods like salmon, or supplementation if needed. But restrict potassium in advanced kidney failure. Consider taking Renifrood, an herbal kidney support supplement providing botanicals like cordyceps, rhodiola, remania and astragalus to improve kidney function. Limit foods very high in oxalates like spinach, nuts and beans that may contribute to painful calcium oxalate kidney stones in those prone to them. Drink at least 2-3 liters of fluids like purified water daily to avoid concentrating toxins. And avoid soda phosphate additives are especially damaging to kidneys. Overall, Stick to a whole food low carb diet without processed items high in sugar and unhealthy fats. This reduces inflammation and metabolic demands on the kidneys. Additionally, minimize exposures to environmental toxins, artificial ingredients and unnecessary medications filtered by the kidneys. In summary, protecting kidney health requires a multi-pronged approach anti-inflammatory nutrition, kidney supporting supplements, optimal hydration, controlling blood sugar, avoiding nephrotoxins and prompt disease treatment. Implementing these interventions can regenerate kidney function and prevent progression to end-stage renal failure. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to provide more detail on supporting your kidney health.